Hey, my baby. You okay? You're looking very cute, Mr. Gizbop. Hi, Seek. Oh, how you doing? Hi, everybody. He might not talk much, but we just wanted to come on and say hi. If he doesn't talk much, I'll grab him and... Um, well, that is beat grinding right now, but we wanted to come say hi. And if anybody had questions, we're here. And we guess. And guess what's been back bigger than better and stronger than ever? Birds don't walk. And it goes. And it. He's doing good. He's doing really good. We're, I would say we're like 98% back to normal. He just hasn't been hitting the mum beats me, so I'm not. We're not hundred percent until he says that fully. But yeah, you cute giz. Am I going to clip his wings? That is a hard question. Um, he's not even attempted to fly as of yet, um, and I don't want to put him through the trauma of getting them clipped but I don't want him to have another accident. So it's something that I am kind of beating my, um... no, he, he, he did hurt his leg. His leg was bruised. It just wasn't broken. And, and trauma as well and shock and shock. Um, we were actually posting videos of like, um, from our camera roll prior to, um... So for a few days, we didn't even tell people. And then we thought, okay, this is quite serious. He hasn't spoken for two days now. We need to tell people. Um, and then that on the third day is when I, I, I made that video. Could we, uh, we've tried to Sage, um, we've tried to. Uh, why doesn't he fly? Because um, Gizmo is a rescue and he was caged. He was he was literally in his cage for 16 years with no toys. So he doesn't know how. We thought he, um, we thought he couldn't fly, but he can. He just doesn't know how. So his brain has to learn how to do it, which is, which is hard because it's not like something that was taught. Um, so Gizmo, um, over the course of two days, his first flight, he, he did really well and he ended up in our high window. Um, and then it took us a while to get him down because he was really high. Um, and then the second day he thought he was gonna give it a go, but he flew kind of into our blinds. Um, and it wasn't necessarily, he didn't hit the, the blinds hard, it was the fall down that, that, that got him. Yeah, the, the, the clip in the wings thing is very, uh, birds should fly. I totally agree. I totally 100% agree. I have I have three birds, two, two can are fully flighted. Um, he's not clipped, but we have to weigh out. He doesn't know how, um, but he hasn't tried since. And it's been oh, a week now. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting a good prenum. So I'll try and read some more questions. I know, I know, I hope he doesn't either. I hope he doesn't give up. We we tried for a while of all the, the techniques we'd learn online, but he wasn't interested. And if he ever did get spooked, oh, thank you, Francis. Fran Francis, is that right? Francis. Francis. <laughs> I'm so British, I read it as it's, a, yeah, sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Francis. You, Francis. Um, oh, he's twisted foot. Yes, and when, when Bird had an accident, she had a flying accident like a month before, and um, her foot went, par her, both her feet weren't paralyzed, and it, it can be a thing of shock, because um, they, they, lose, they lose like use of their feet. Um, but thankfully Bird is okay, and um, yeah. Yeah, he's doing great. And um, 
his, his, his vocabulary, lots of old, it's like it, he had a bit of a reset and a lot of those old things are, um, are coming back. He's saying happy, happy guy, um, birds don't walk. Um, and I keep saying, what do they do? And he started to give me different answers again, which I'm excited about because, um, and he's, he's saying, giz bye. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's never said that before. That's a new one. Um, what other old sayings is he saying? Um, lots and lots of old ones. Um, oh, thank you, Sage. Um, sorry, I've been really terrible. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, Darren. Um, yeah, the thing is, I'm going to show you, you're going to see Kyle. I'm going to show you my layout. It's really, really hard. Um, but I'll give you an idea. Hang on, Gizbop, I'll be back. Um, my whole house, as you can see, there's my ring light. There's Kyle. My whole house is open plan. We have a basement, which I could probably <laughs> try and take him down to the dungeon and see... And that's the, the ceilings are not very high, but our house is open. Um, hang on a minute. I'm going to show you the window he had his accident. I'm sorry I'm missing comments. So he flew it. Look, I have my blinds closed for this reason. So he doesn't see an open space. So he flew into that, but then he hit the floor there. Um, and then he flew up to that window the first time. And he thought, I'm really good at this. I'm really, really, really good. So then the next day he tried again. Sorry, we've been doing the three marker challenge. That's Kyle's. That's mine. <laughs> my, my little girl and that's Jess's. As you do. But yeah, there's Jesse over there. <laughs> right, I'm back. I'm going to come back and I can read then. He's just grooming right now. Um, okay. He's looking headless right now. You're sure it's just coming across my page the other day and I've been watching that crazy. Thank you, Grubs. Thank you. Um, I know, we're, um, we're actually, the other platform that I will, will not mention, um, it, it's a T and a T, um, it's really upset us. Um, so we're gonna be putting most of our focus into his other platforms now and, and, and like building more of a relationship with you guys. And like, because I, I personally think you guys are way more awesome. Don't you babe? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nightwing. I, uh, it's really hard. I want what's best for these birds. Now, when we first got bird, she was a baby and, um, we grew, she came with clip wings and we grew them out. And uh, she was young and she didn't know how to fly and she was, she was hurting herself a lot. So we know wings grow back in, it takes about 10 months to grow back. We knew they were gonna grow back in 10 months. So what we did was when she um, had her last accident is when we got them clipped and we said, we're gonna train her um, cause they can still fly when they are clipped if they know how to. And, um, we had them clipped, which I know a lot of people won't agree, but it was for her safety at that time. Within that next 10 months, we trained her. Now she, she's an amazing flyer. We call her Maverick because she just, she's the most cockiest flyer we know. Um, so it, that worked for us and we won't get them done now. She's a, she's a fully flighted. Greg, birds don't walk, he's totally back. I've got some videos that I need to, to put together. He, he started saying it last night and I, I, I nearly cried. Um, a smaller room, yes. We actually met um, um, a trainer. Um, so we're going to see if there's any tips, whether we need, need to take Gizmo to her. He'll probably do better in his own environment, but we're, we're going to look to, to see what she recommends. I, I, I would pay all the money in the world for Gizmo to safely fly because he deserves to fly after he's passed. 
and he deserves to to spread those wings and and just go for it. But um, at this moment in time, he just he doesn't he, he kind of knows how to flap them, but he doesn't know how to land. He doesn't know how to you know to to, to glide safely. It is very awkward flying. Yes, I, I, I understand. And I'm not saying I'm going to clip his wings. Um, we're always around him. The thing is, he can get spooked so easily. So, like, say I drop something on the floor, it can make him jump. And then he just flaps his wings and he goes. Uh, and But most of the time I'm around and I'm close to him and I can kind of, like, <coughs> help him. He does deserve to fly now. Have you seen African greys, though, when they fly? They're not the most graceful. They're, they don't look like the McCalls and, and the Conyers. And they're, they're very butt-heavy. They fly like... Um, what do they fly? Like a duck? It's not, it's not very um, elegant. Is it, Giz? Is it? Oh, my gosh. When he says it, why well, I've... I, yeah. He keeps saying birds don't walk while walking off camera. I, ju I should just use them for stories because it's hilarious. So George, um, Gizmo, but Gizmo, um, I I've been telling people for the last year and a half, Gizmo can't fly, blah de blah de blah de. Gizmo can fly, he just doesn't know how. Um, and he, he got brave and he decided he's gonna give it a go and he flew and had an accident and he didn't talk he didn't talk at all for a week which is a lot for him isn't it mr potato a lot for him <laughs> um i know he's he and and the thing is that right now all three of our birds are very hormonal and every bird owner i know is that their their birds are very i think it's a change in the weather the lights it's getting darker earlier. Thank you, Nightwing. Yes, yeah, so there's, there's definitely lots of things I need to, um, to change to make things safer. But the thing is, for a year and a half, he's never attempted it. Or he's, he's tried to fly and he's just gone down. He's just gl glided down. So, yeah, nothing crazy. He had a very talkative yellow in Amazon. And he did fly. Ah, oh, that birds, people don't understand how affectionate birds are. They, they love to be loved. They love to be stroked. I can only stroke Gizmo on his head because he's a very hormonal baby. And um, if you're not supposed to, you, it will trigger lots of regurgitation. Okay, Blue. It was a sad, scary week. I can't remember what spooked him. I think one of the, so sometimes Bird, our Konya, all of a sudden just freaks out. I don't know if she sees a bird outside or something and she does this alarm and it, it made Blue jump. I think it, it that was the time where it triggered him. Yes, we have a Jende Konya and a Indian ring neck. Thank you, Life of Mary. Do you have space outside where you can build an outs? I wish, but look outside. We live in Canada. Look at all those leaves. Goodbye. It's falls. Yeah, so it's, it's in the summer. We have beautiful summers, and maybe in the summer, um, but not right now. He would freeze. He would freeze. And once I can get my own house, I'd love to have a special safe area, like with nets that's high, so I could just, just let them try. <laughs> yeah, see, it's very, we, yeah, our winter just came. It was like, hello. The week before it was 28, and then it was minus 17. It was like, okay. Yes, we do have snow. We live in, um, in Canada, Alberta, Canada. Crazy.
I know, it's great. Like, I lived in England and it doesn't snow a lot in there. It rains a lot. <coughs> He's still grooming. Um, but yeah, we, we, we've been lucky this year. Mid, mid, um, October, it started, so, um, is, <laughs> is he a villain? I think so. Giz, what, are you grooming or are you lost your head? He, oh, it's, it's tucked up. It's a comfort thing. And it's not because he, and this is the thing when I knew it was bad, he wouldn't do that. He would, he would balance it. Um, but that's a comfort thing. That's a, they're content. See, he just curls it under like a flamingo would. You never lived in Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. Oh. Yeah, he's just grooming. All right, Blue B, hang on. Oh, it's seven, oh, 78. I'm jealous. The thing is, it can get too hot here. Uh, there's no in between. We're either in the 30s. Oh, my gosh. Blue, hang on. You need to show. Hang on, they will be quiet a minute. My son just came in. He says, bye, nerd. I don't even know where that came from. That's just something he came up with himself. driving me absolutely up the wall. He's, he's not, he, I know it looks like it's shaking. He, um, it's just something he does. It's, um, he's absolutely fine. He's probably annoyed by Bloob right now, but <coughs> Bloob is coming out. Oh, Ravens can talk amazingly. How does he react to new toys and things? Depends. Sometimes he can react amazingly. Sometimes he's so scared of the... Uh, so we have a new toy that we're getting used to. He's getting used to it just he there. Was pretty fine with it right he now. was fine with it. But, but I, we just like to test it because I don't want to put it up. Because sometimes he, he'll just walk away from it and then he won't um, go in that area. So we're just putting it on his outside of his cage. He's an African grey, a Congo African grey. But um, he can be scared of the most unusual things. <laughs> yeah. Really, really can. Um, how did he learn Burger Rain? I do not know. Yes, this God. is the thing with Gizmo. We we actually, we, we never talk about Burger Rain. <laughs> See if he's scared of this. Yep. So he's scared of like a little stuffy. <laughs> oh, <Ooh>. sugar. <laughs> Okay, all right, maybe not scared. Maybe all he right. just wants to kill it. You got that snake, baby. Um, you got that snake. Blue! You're out. You're out. Blue. Chill. Um, but then we can give him, like, the vacuum cleaner. We can hoover around his cage, and he's he's just, like, trying to play with it. Blue, I'll give you some apple. You want some apple? You want some apple? Yeah, I'll give you some apple. Um... Oh my gosh. This is the thing about being a bird owner. There's parts of certain times of the year where it's insanely annoying. Uh, Dominique, we are looking into that right now. We're actually part of a parrot club here in Alberta. And um, they, they have um, like monthly meetups and there's, there's an actual um, a trainer there. He does want the spotlight on. Let me show you him. He's over here. Oh, gosh, hang on. Oh. There he is. He's out and about. He's just an attention. You can have some apple. Whoa, why'd you just throw it like that? You're so <laughs> angry. Bloopy! Come here. Come on. Um... Oh, 
Um, okay. <coughs> you know when you're Apple Eva? No, he's not good morning to the apples. No, because he's, uh, Gizmo's an unhealthy old man, bird. My favorite quote of Gizmo's. Oh, oh. gosh, there's so many. Um, believe it or not, there's, <laughs> I love mum beats me. To start off with, I was very, um, I didn't want to post it because I was scared what people would say. But, um, but then I thought, you know, I have a hundred percent confidence that I don't and Gizmo wouldn't be the way he is with me if I did. And, uh, I, p people, I would be fully up for a full investigation. Oh, you just throwing your apple around? <laughs> just throwing your apple. Um, another one. You want a stachio? Okay. Um, I love it, <laughs> although he's not saying it right now. He, when he says, I love you, it's the way he says it. He lifts his head up and he's like, I love you. Um, and that's one of my favorites. But he's, he, and I love the way that he just loves to wind me up. No, he didn't go to the timeout corner. He, he's just there right now. Oh, Giz, you're looking cute. He's just having a snack. There he is. So. <laughs> He's adorable. Um, you must, you must nap. Okay, you have a great nap, Sage. Oh, when he says hello, <laughs> I love it too. Um. I love it when he says, what? What? Hey, Giz. Thank you, Ben. How are you? I feel like I haven't seen you for ages. How long do they stay hormonal? They have a few times a year. So I think it lasts, with Gizmo, it probably lasts two weeks to a month. I'm not sure with the other two. Because they're at different stages of their life and um, like Bird is young. So she's going through more stuff this year than she did last year. She's an absolute she's bee. Much. She is horrible. It's a good job I love that Bird because right now I do not like her. And that is me being honest. She is horrible. And for some reason she absolutely hates Bloob right now. Like even hearing his voice on a video. She had, she had bite Kyle. Yeah. Is he back to his one line is? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And the birds don't walk. He, oh, you really gonna nap now? Are oh. you gonna take a nap, Giz Bop? Maybe like you love it when he says, God damn it. I do too, but there's a lot of people that hate me for it. And it's not something I taught him. He, unless he learned it in his old place or he came up with it himself. I don't shout that. Um, sorry, I'm missing comments. Who's fascinated by Einstein? We love Einstein. We love Einstein. Oh, he's one-liners. And the, and the thing is, he's, um, he's, like, we don't know where he comes up with, you know? He he just, he's just a natural little comedian. Thank you, Thunderwolf. Thank you, Lynn. How are you? Oh, you thought your grave was a boy? Oh, we did, we did exactly the same. P. Marie. Um, we did exactly the same with our Konya. I, I want him to one day give me a really sarcastic answer to who let the birds out. I would love that. We, 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 Nina, I can't remember what spooked him. I think it was just 
something made him jump. That was that was basically it. Sorry if I'm missing stuff. Do I keep the TV? We actually rarely watch TV and we rarely keep music on. Um, I don't I don't know whether he picked up on all this stuff from before. Um, we rescued him and he was left in a room on his own. So I think a lot of his mumble talk comes from that. But um, we do, no, we don't leave the TV on. We, we rarely leave the house. We're pretty, we're pretty home bodies and we work from home. One second. Lucas, where are you? Where are you? I can hear you. Oh, you're up there. Shush. <laughs> Shush it. Einstein was the grey I came across at San Diego Zoo. Oh, I think there's two different Einsteins, yeah. isn't there? Mm -hmm. There's one in America. That is the the original. I, I don't know. I think it's is that the original Einstein. I yeah. don't know, or well, if that is a newer one. That's I, trained. Einstein lives in America too. She lives in Texas. Yeah, but well, he's the motley. Yeah, that's the one we know. Yeah, there's two. They're amazing. I'm sure there's a, there's probably so many Einstein greys out there. Oh, thank you, Maya. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You'll hear his voice soon. Um, I, I'm going to try and stay here until he talks. <coughs> Einstein lives in Texas, yes. <coughs> the original one died. I, th I knew there was two. I knew there was two. Excuse me, I'm just going to grab a drink. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, Giz. Yeah, um, I know, I just don't want our birds to be like squawking. Go on, I'll let me know and then we'll, we'll try. We're gonna, we're gonna try and, um, maybe if you take bird. And um, I'll just hide down here. And if that doesn't work, then you're just stuck with me. And I'll just get Giz down and I'll just talk to you. But um, sometimes when we kind of just sort of like don't pay the, because he knows, he's, he's not stupid. He knows that. <laughs> uh, he, oh my gosh. I thought she was gonna bite you then. Thank you. Sean, you cry. Hi. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, that was, I, that's the thing. I didn't, I, I was just sharing my journey with Gizmo. I, I, I had a, I mean, I, I had 200,000 followers on TikTok before, um, but I didn't expect it to grow and for people to be so invested in, in Gizmo. Um, he's an amazing, an amazing, I would personally be invested in, but people started watching his journey and his little milestones and, um, yeah, it just, it, that's how it starts. He, his foot's fine. His foot's fine. He's back to holding it like that, which he didn't do for about five days. And if anyone knows Gizmo, they know that that's the way he sits. <coughs> oh, thank you, Perfectly Imperfect. I love your name. Thank you. Where is Bird? Have you got her? Yeah. Shut the door. Okay, right, we're gonna try and get him to uh, say hi to you. Lou! You need to shush it. You need to shush.
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You want some? All right, you can have one more, okay? Do you want? Show your little beaky. Show your little... Blue. This is um thank you. Thank you for the gift. Sorry, this is what is driving me insane right now. And it's because he's extremely hormonal. Oh, sorry, it's not even on Giz. He's extreme not Gizmo, Blue is extremely he will shut up. He's just trying to get people's attention because we're showing it to Gizmo. Do you want one more? He's just flying around, squawking his head off. I'm sorry to hear that. <coughs> they are, they are like teenager toddlers. They're annoying, but you love them. And you miss, the, you miss the chaos. You miss the chaos. Thank you, Cammy. Thank you so much. Male or female, is it easier to raise or train? Oh my gosh, that's a hard question because they're all hormonal at the minute. And Bird is a girl and she's being so bad and bitey. And Bloob, Giz, you're the best behaved one in this household. You know that, right? Bloob is being loud and obnoxious. The only, the only problem I have with girls and, and what scares me is the eggs. The, the egg, the, the chances of... Oh, goodbye, Giz. The, the chances of egg binding. That scares me. We haven't had an egg with um, Bird yet. Thank you, Nina. I'm going to try it. He is wondering what... The thing is, the, the blue... People don't understand as well. And this is what's sad. Especially with Indian ring necks. Okay? So, Bloob is a rescue too. We took Blue Bond at seven years old. He had been in the system. He had been in a cage for, at the, as far as we know, at least four years. And his sole purpose in life was to breed, breed, breed. And he had a bonded partner. Um, and because that, that's all they were doing, she died. Thank you, Lizzie. She died and Blue was heartbroken. Come on, I know, I'm talking about you. He was absolutely heartbroken. So the breeder then, um, hi Kiki, Chloe and Mummy Holly. The, the breeder um, didn't have any use for him because if she's to introduce him to another Indian ring neck at this age, they can kill each other. So I don't wanna risk getting an, him a, a mate. One, I'm not about breeding, and two, they could kill each other. So it's a lot easier to bond them when they're younger, but she was, she was a young girl and she died and he was heartbroken. So now he's hormonal, he's almost like looking for her, wanting, wanting love. And, um, and it's just sad, but we try our best, but I'm not a birdie girl. He's gonna talk now. Come on. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna walk away a second because sometimes gives to talk. One second. Hi. Blue, I I'm right there. Do you go? Goodbye. Like 
didn't see me. Hi. What? 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 Giz is just chilling like a potato. Ah. I know. He's he's um he's just he's used to this honestly, and it he, blue doesn't normally do this. It is, this is like a hormonal thing, and I think that's why <laughs> it's, just, it's just an attention thing. Don't ever eat bruised apples. Ooh, gross! A worm. I tell you what. What did we get? And it was disgusting. Disgusting. It was a peach. And um, I'm so glad we cut it. It had worms in it. We got it from Costco. I think I actually did a video on it like about a year and a half ago. It was nasty. Oh, Giz, you gonna chill? Okay, here, wake up soon. Um, he has these, he, we call them power naps. <coughs> Excuse me. He has entered potato mode. I just want him to say birds don't walk once for you. Oh, I think Blue, I'm gonna let Blue take, he's starting. Hang on. We'll just have a Bloob show for a little bit until Giz, Giz gets a little jealous too. <gasps> tickle, tickle, go on, play with your toys because you're cute when you do that. He kisses them. <gasps> Hi. Thank you, Meredith. Thank you. How are you? Blueby? Are you saying thank you? Gizmo is talking, just not right now. Not right now, but um, he's looking at me right now. I think Bloob's going to talk for you guys, though. I can feel it. He's, yeah, he's in his talking. You're so nosy, Bloob. You're so nosy. Let me take my shoes off. Walking around like an elephant, ain't I? I'm walking around like an elephant peekaboo. Thank you. I'm really terrible at pronouncing names. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the gifts. I, I hate pronouncing names. Sh Shiloh? Sh Shiloh? And, um... Aya Hawks. I'm British and I just I just say it as it I read it. Mr. Potato, do you wanna come say hi? What 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 are you doing? What are you do 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 I said it right, woohoo! I have a friend called Shiloh, but it's a boy and he spells it. Um, oh, thank you, Heather. Thank you. Um, Giz is just chilling like a potato over there. Um, our friend Shiloh is spelt literally as you would think Shiloh would be spelt, like S-H-Y-L-O. Blueby, come on, you were talking cutely. Cutely. When did I move to Canada? Um, five years ago. It'll actually be six years in June, which is scary. Blooby Blooby, Bloobster, Mr. Bloob, 
Mr. Longtail, Mr. Redbeak. Come on, be cute. There's a lot to say. That's so cool. Um, after Neil Diamond. Oh, that's cool. Um, Shitsu and Sister Bread, Spaniel. Oh, wow, Dominic. Your belly? Oh. Just lie down and chill out and rest. You don't have school tomorrow, which is good. Do you love the Canadian carbon tax? <laughs> oh my gosh, everything's so expensive. Come on, come on. Everything's so expensive. Hey, dragon slippers. Gizmo's not even speaking right now. Oh, where are you going? You just chilling up there? Hi. Um, did I own birds in England? No. I actually had a dog that was killed by a bird in England. So I lived, um, I lived in Cornwall, um, in Newquay in Cornwall, and um, I had a, a two-pound Yorkshire Terrier, and we had a seagull problem there. Yes, and it also attacked Jessie when she... You were two? Three. Three. Um, is it, it was in like worldwide news. So if you Google Yorkshire Terry attack by seagull, you'll see our story. It was crazy. So my children were petrified of birds because my, my son was four at the time and he witnessed the, the, the seagull that attacked my, um, my little dog. They're, they're so aggressive. They're ridiculous. And they were nested on my roof because I lived a five minute walk to the beach. So um, they, were, they were living on my roof. So he only went out into our garden to pee. And um, one swoop, top of the head, and he was brain dead. He, I got him to the vets and I, I told him to try everything they could, but they said there was just no, nothing. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Um, yes. And, and yeah, it's funny how like we had like viral things. That wasn't a very good viral thing, but um, Kyle and um, Kyle and my eldest daughter, Jade, they, uh, they went viral on Lad Bible at Christmas time. Thank you, Ma or Melina. Thank you. Peekaboo. Um, they went viral at Christmas time. We were playing a pie face and we had, you know, those, um, I think it was a speak out um, mouth guards that show your teeth really stupidly. We'll have to share these videos with you guys. And um, we were playing pie face and they had the mouth guards in and they looked hilarious. And that went viral. And we thought, we thought it was so cool back then. What you, I'm just talking. What you doing? Um, so I know, so I, the, uh, we could write a book, seriously. We've, we, we've had happy, sad, crazy stories. Peekaboo. I wonder if I can zoom in. There. Yeah, Dominique, they're bad. They're, they're, they're not scared of anyone. and They'll just take your food right out your hands. I remember when I was younger, uh, a baby, I was actually killed by a seagull too in, a, in the stroller, um, or push chair, we say. Um, it was eating a sausage roll, which are delicious if you've ever tried one. Um, <laughs> and it had like pastry on its head and the seagull swooped in and got the soft spot which is horrendous. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a bag of laughs today. Let me say happy stories. Oh yeah, and we have been, we have been. <laughs> Our wiener dog, which I think's upstairs with Kyle. We had to separate Bloob and Bird. Um, has Giz tried to fly again? No, he hasn't. Oh, Bean's with you? Okay. It is a cute name. And she, I couldn't imagine her anything other than a bean. She's 
for her breed, she's ridiculously tiny. She's, she's so small, being the ween. <laughs> she's really small, but really long. Yeah. We call them sausage dogs in England, but I think they say wieners over here. Hi, Blueby. Hi. She's, yeah, she's ridiculous. These good boy. Tickle, tickle. Hi. I'm sure Giz is gonna get. <clears throat> he loves put, putting his head in that toy and just talking to it. Hi, Kimberly. Weena dog. <laughs> Beanie weenie. Yeah. Sometimes we just call her the ween. Does he get jealous of Bloob? Yeah, I'm surprised he I think he's actually tired. Um I'm surprised he has it. If I talk to Bloob, he's he normally does every trick in the book to um to uh to get my attention. Yes, we cover Bloobs and we cover Bird's Cage at night every night. But we don't cover gizmos because he's absolutely terrified of it. He was never covered before. Uh, Lisa, you don't need to deny anything. Just you being here is good. Hi. I'm trying to get a better angle of him. There he is. Oh, are you kissing it? Is that your girlfriend? Also, oh, yeah, Bloop has got his own YouTube channel now, which Kyle has just put in the chat. <laughs> because people get so annoyed when, like, we, we post our other animals on his channel. They're like, we need to see Gizmo. Where's Gizmo? Um, but sometimes Gizmo, like, stays off. But, yeah, Bloop, Bloop's a little superstar too, and, and Bird's a character and Bean's a character in their own different ways. Hi, Hi, cutie. How's Bird doing? She's doing good. She, uh, after her accident, oh my gosh, my animals just have an accident. Um, her ha actual scar, it, her feathers grew back. We thought she was going to have a beast of a scar, but she's not. Let me see if I walk away. It might trigger Giz. And, and Bloob's being cute, so I'm going to just let Good boy. If I walk away, you talk. Let me see if I can get, I'll just show you what the Giz Bop is doing. He's looking at Bloob on the floor like he's crazy. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, are you going back? Oh, you found a bit of apple that Giz didn't want? Okay. Giz, do you want some love?
Want some love? Want some love? Hi. 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 He tries to grip my hand so I can get like, and then he gets on me. Hi. What are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hang on. I'm just trying to see what Bloob's doing. Make sure he's not there. Okay. Hi, my boy. Yes, you look at your dusty beak. You can't grab me. He grabs me, then I say he holds me hostage. <coughs> yeah, I know. Was that a nice hug? Was that a nice hug? Okay, I think he's gonna come around soon. Where's your apple? You look at his eyes, they go pinned. There, pin. Pin. <laughs> <gasps> Woo! He loves that toy, he literally kisses it. Oh, Giz is such a cuddle bug. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a bit. I'll, I'll get him off and um, I'll give him a cuddle. It's just that I can't, like, when I've got him, I, I, I can't use my hands. Um, bad bird come from? Um, it came from um, Bad Boys, the, 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 the show Cops. Bad boys, bad boys. It sounds weird when I sing it the real way. Where are you going now? Huh? He's just, see, they're flighted. It is Bird's Toy. It is, Kate. Um, we actually brought some more of them. We brought some more. We just need to install them. And our life's so chaotic. We forget because they're in the garage. And then we forget. But we do, we do need to get them up. We've got a few more. I'll, I'll get him in a second. How about, actually, I could get him and talk to you. And then I can show you how much he loves love. Yeah, he already knows that, don't you? Hang on. Hi. You want a hug? But you have to excuse me because I have a mum bun in and I don't, I, I'm, I wasn't prepared to be on here. But I'll hold him for a bit. See, he's a lover. Mr. Lover, lover. Okay, now i got to figure this out. Okay, right, let's turn. Let's turn. So we have the, should we have the snow in the background, Mr. Gizbop? So, hello, everybody. Um, he, um, he loves love. Bluebee, don't be jealous. He loves love. Um, what do you do about all the bird pools? I just cover it in newspaper and forget, but no, um, we, we clean it up, unfortunately. We have, um, um, see them? We have mats, and then I just wash them. Bloop! I'm right here! Um... And all the leaves have fallen off the trees. They're doing my nutting. Because we just, we just paid. We had these cute kids knock on our door. And they're like, um, there was five of them. And they was like, um, can we clean your leaves up for $20? And I'm like, okay, you, you can clean our leaves up. They were only like 10, 10 and 12 years old. And I was like, go for it. I thought that took a lot of initiative and stuff. So um, these kids did such an awesome job. And uh, I gave them 40 in in the end but um now all the neighbors leaves and everything have come back yes it's it's been bad how's the sun still up it's 6 25 so it should be down soon what is it today what's what's the temperature oh my watch has died i think it's like my jesse can you check out what what the weather is minus what Hamburg rain. Hamburg rain. 
a hit right after this cuddle here, wake up. Is what? Oh, it's only minus two today. We're all right. We're all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Those kids were adorable. Honestly, I would have taken their pictures up. Like, and, uh, but obviously, I wouldn't do that because they're kids. And posted online going, if these kids knock on your door, please just let them do it. Because they're amazing. They were so professional. So professional. Is he 100%? Um, is he feeling 100%? He, he, yeah, he's just quiet right now. I was hoping he would um, talk for you guys so you could hear him. Um, and stop, stop giving me your hot weather when I'm stood with my background snow. <laughs> um, he does, he, the thing is, he's Canadian. He, he, he's 16 years brought up in Canada. Blue! Yeah, thank you. He, he's a Canadian bird. So his last owners for 16 years were, um, they were um, Canadian. He, he tries. Blue! I know I'm giving kids my attention, but you, you have to be patient. He, um, he tries to mimic my accent, but it, it does sound like um, a Canadian or American trying to put on a British accent. He's like, can you stop watching me? Oh my gosh, Blue. He, he does try and he started, he actually said water like that and I nearly died, but I didn't get it on camera. He was like, water? <laughs> It'd be hot and hot. Uh, yes, because you've had your winter. Your summer. Bloop! Pack it in. My God. He can hear it. So Kyle's got the chat on upstairs. And he's hearing himself, and that's what's triggering him. He is. He's got a lot to say. Isn't he? You just want love, don't you? Sorry if my bird is triggering your bird. Okay, are we done? Are we done? He, he's, yeah, he was talking before. Hi. 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 What? What? Sorry. Literally, yes. Blue, I can't keep just talking. I'm talking. We're talking. Okay? Okay? Sorry. He has a big opinion. Boy. Oh my gosh. Hi, Joe. The bump. Come on. Oh my. He's, he goes from. Uh, there we go. Come on. <laughs> he has so much attitude. Hi. Hi. Did the other birds notice like he was not feeling well? I They didn't really show any difference. They're very good with Gizmo. They do they they re, they respect Gizmo and his space. And a lot of people, look, I get so many people that watch our videos that say to me, do you even hold him? We do, a, you can see I do. He, yeah, he loves love. Good night. Thank you for joining us. He's feeling a lot better, Joe. Thank you. Really, Lisa? Yeah, even that that annoyed Bloop. He's like, wow, how could you? 
thing is, like, I was terrible this. I actually had a really terrible summer. I was working, bloop, shush. I was working um, a lot away. And, um, and when I was home, it was really hot here as well. And I, I really didn't like do anything exciting. I mean, I met some really cool superstars, but, um, and I did, you have so many pin feathers, Giz. But I don't think I, I don't think we uh, left the house much when I was at home. Bluebee. Thank you, Zeal. He, he, he hasn't told anyone to squawk off, but he ha, he, he's started to just go squawk, squawk. 28 in Minnesota. Ah. The chill is coming. Really? 28? Is that like Celsius? Snow in Colorado too. Your three are molten. Yeah, he is. He's molten a lot. Bluey. Bluey. Cute voice. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Rose. Fahrenheit. Oh, so 28 is Fahrenheit. That's that's actually cold. Okay. All right. I won't be grumpy at you. <laughs> Thank you, Hazy Boy. He um he is hilarious. He just he just had a bit of a set, set step back, but um he'll be back. Won't you say I'll be back? I'll be back. Bluebee. Do you want a snack, Giz? Bluebee. One or the other. Got a lot to say and it's... But he's so dusty. I'll see if you can see my hand. Where are you going? What are you doing? Giz is 17. He's going to be 18 in February. Can you believe that? We want to take him to the pub. It's 52 Fahrenheit in Essex. Ah, oh, Essex. That's where the kid's dad lived. Well, he was from Essex. I have friends in Essex. It's a pub. Mold him. Come on. Uh, what's the deal with snow? I don't know. I didn't put it there. Mother Nature did. You have to take it up with her. <laughs> 10 Celsius in Newcastle. Oh my gosh. Lots of, uh, lots of English people here. Hello. Yeah, we live, we live in Canada. Yeah, sorry. I forget that people get confused about that. How was work, Kate? What? Hey, is Cosmo free? Do you know Kate? She might help Giz. Hi. Hi. Pop up. Up up. Zip up. Zip up. Come on. Sorry, Giz is just one in love right now. Did I just get one of your pin feathers? Sorry. Yeah, birds are so affectionate. So affectionate. He, he I know, he will. I'm sure he will. Cosmo is Giz online burn friend. Yes. Sorry. Do you know when his peak time is though? It's around 9.30 at night, which is not normally a good... Thank you, Kate. It's not a good time for us because like, um, that's the time I'm wanting to go to bed myself because I get up at six for the kids for school. But he... That's his absolute prime talking time. Thank you, Kay. Peekaboo. 
Cosmo is amazing. She's, I would say, she is Gizmo's best birdie friend. Gizmo has amazing birdie friends, but Cosmo is just someone that he's he's known since his journey began with freedom. His neck feathers soft. Not as soft as you think they would be. And they're very pinny at the minute, which means like, um, he has new feathers going through. So they're like straws. And the straw, the hard straw part needs to come off to release the feather. So it's like little tubes. I, yeah, I think it was, we rescued him. Uh, it'll be two years in April. Two years in April. Yeah, Cosmo's taught him some stuff. Yeah, hi. Oh my gosh, yeah, he's right in front of me. He's right in front of me. I, I just can't stroke them both at the same time for their own safety. Plus, Bloob is our newest rescue and he's not affectionate like Giz is. I can't like, Giz, um, Blue won't, doesn't want love. I know, nearly two years. It's crazy. And who, who, who would have thought that you could literally, a bird would choose to just hug you? Yes, we want to, Billy, we want to take him to the pub and give him some like apple juice that looks like a beer. We're obviously taking him there safely and won't let him really drink beer. But I think it would be funny. Because the legal drinking age here is 18, so we just thought it'd be funny to take him to the pub. Ooh, did the jaw make you jump? Thank you, Megan. Um... I know. You gonna tell you tell Blue to squawk off? Hi, I know. Yeah, you're better when you're cute. Thank you, Miss Linus. Thank you. Hi. What you doing? Oh my gosh. Guess I'm gonna get you a snack. Okay, I'm gonna put you on because I think it'll be. Now he's had a cuddle. Um, what's that? What's that? Duke is trying to steal your food. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we had crumpets earlier. If that's not too British cliche, but we had crumpets. And um, poor Kyle, they were trying to steal him. Huh? What you doing? I know, we do have snow. It sucks. And people forget. Oh, thank you. Is it? Ah, oh, I'm so bad at names. Keneal? Keneal? Martin? Thank you. Hi. Be nice. Be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. He did steal your crumpet. Someone told me not to talk. Oh, goodness. I know. Sorry I stopped stroking you. I didn't share my crumpets, not even with Giz. I, I'm sorry, Giz. There's, there's something, a few things a girl can't share. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Kyle let him have it, let's be honest. He's, no, he does this every night. This isn't him feeling unwell. This is him just wanting love. He's just cuddling. 
Blue B7. Uh, let me, I'm going to get Giz a snack and I'm going to put, um, I'll show you blue. Want to snack it? Ooh, what is that? Right, you will have to be brave when we go in the pantry, okay? Oh, this might not be a good idea. Um, let me see what else I can get a Giz box. Okay, oh, let's get this. Ooh. Yum yum. Okay. Right, I've got it. Got your snack. Who let the snacks out, Mum? Mum, Mum. <coughs> there we go. Okay. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try and. There's Bloob. That's the one that's. Uh talking look look at my hand hang on you see the dust that's giz bops dust greys are so dusty so what was the question megan let me see do i like avenger movies yes once i get into it it's not oi it's not something I would actually choose to watch. Um, sorry, he's got his scrambled eggs. He had scrambled eggs earlier. Um, it's not something I would choose to watch, but once I get into one of those movies, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh. Right, come on. Oh, that's a horrible bit of apple, Giz. Let me get you a different bit. Pistachio? Yeah. Come on. Do you want more? Do you want Where are you going? You just had a snack. I think he's gonna talk. He's very snack snack boy right now. Is it good? Are you finishing your eggs? Are you finishing your eggs, Giz? Mmm. Let's see, can you just bite this? See if you like it. It's a British thing. Jesse? You just bite this, see if you like it. Oh, this looks pretty. Mm -hmm. You want a statue? Ow. <coughs> I gotta eat this and get some eggs. I just took a tablet. Is it like a pain? Okay, baby. I got chicken, so we're gonna make something with that. Where are you going? Is Bert still off? What are you doing, Giz? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad he said that for you. Mhm. Mm I'm so glad he said that for you. What are you doing, Giz? Huh? They're cool. They drink water. There we go. We got it. We, you got it. Birds don't walk. It's back. And it gets. Birds don't walk. <laughs> what do they do? Huh? What do they do? Birds don't walk. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's on repeat now. <laughs> it's stuck. Do they eat snacks? That's what they do. You just got some water. You've had two stachios on the. I think you've had three stachios. Okay. Oh my goodness! Hey, you guys got me. In a minute. But I'd prefer you to walk than to fly right now. There you are. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Birds don't walk. What do birds do, Gizbop? Huh? What do they do? <laughs> Birds don't walk his back, like on repeat right now. Um, and not every time he gives me a sarcastic answer, but they are coming back. And they gizb up. You are a good boy. You've been a good boy. Okay, let me try. Oh, Bluebee. I 
Is it you chilling now? You can chill? Huh? I know your brother's been very vocal today. Luby has a lot to say and you're just, you're kind of just chilling. There's the tickle monster over here. talking when I move it okay let's try this one no his foot is fine the vet checked it really like well um, and he's he's got a, a clean bill of health thank you cha thank you so much blue is very talkative tonight hi giz hi I'm just talking to Giz, okay? Gosh, I'm like, this is gonna be a nice, quiet, chilled life. They're making me run around. You, you are a good boy. You're being a good boy. You're using your good boy voice. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Giz, we'll have more cuddles in a minute, okay? Oh, peekaboo. Giz talks, so I'll put him back on. You want a stashio? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't win. Giz, you can't have a stashio. You've had lots of stashios. You just snack, boys. Oh goodness, I know. Giz, what? Giz, oh, hi. Stashio? <laughs> Giz, you can have a stash here if you sing a song. Should we try that one? I'm not good at training. I've got these curtains now. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark, my baby boy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So we, we have the UV light, which is this one, on Gizmo for most of the time at the minute, just to give him some extra UV light. <laughs> what was that? He's doing... <laughs> okay, so this is a funny story. My wiener dog is hormonal like my birds, and she's wanting to hump everything. And um, <laughs> she's got this duck that she humps, right? I, I'm, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I know, Giz, it's weird. And um, <laughs> and when she humps it, it makes that noise, and Giz just did it. It's like, rawr, rawr. I can't do it, but I'm not good at Giz mode stuff. But that's what that noise was. It was um, his wiener sister's humping duck. Okay, all right, all right. The floor's back on you, Bloob. Hi, Crochet Kate. <laughs> Bananas. Honestly, every single animal in this house wants to do the do-ness. I, I, I'm going to show it you because I had to, um, I had to confiscate it because she's done it. Okay, we only got this Wednesday. We, we already had to get rid of one. We had this, we brought a new one on Wednesday. These are dog toys. Um, and she's humped it that much. She's nearly taken a wing off. Look. So I had to confiscate it because for her safety. Um, but this, hang on, where's the, hang on, I gotta find it. <laughs> oh my gosh, did she do, oh there, see? Giz makes that sound. Can't even do it, hang on. There. So Giz is now, <laughs> Giz is now doing the humpy duck sound. 
because my 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 wiener dog will hump this and occasionally make this sound, and um, I I think it's is it goose? I think it's a goose. I don't know what it is, but oh, oh are we talking now? You just want snacks, Giz. You're a snacky snack boy. But yeah, that's the story behind <laughs> that sound. <laughs> My gosh. She's a little bit devastated as well. And she gives. I had to confiscate. She's devastated. I took a hump buddy away. <laughs> Humpy duck. But Giz is doing it and it's just like, oh my gosh, it's gonna make Bean like, where's my duck? Giz? Giz? He does, they, 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 my birds use me. It's a good job he shows me love. You can have a stash here in a minute, okay? Ooh. Yeah, I know, it's exciting, isn't it? Um, Giz, are you gonna say some new stories? Huh? Oh, are you gonna come down? Okay, okay. Let's do some, let's do story time with Gizmo. Oh, there's the sound again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The humpy duck. All right, I'm here. The humpy duck. Um, your real name is Emily, ah. Ooh, her name's Emily too. Gizbop, look, now he's manipulating. Oh, you have one stashy, okay? One stashio. You want some? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming, all right? <laughs> all right, here. He annihilates these so quickly. Bluebeard, you want one? Here, Blue. Oh. You got it? Good boy. I gave him a mustachio. Okay, if I could, I would. I'll send you some. Now it's gonna be quiet for a second while they eat their stashes. He is a smart fellow. I just wish he'd be on like true form. And the, the thing is people think that like, we have this big performance, but we, we just record Gizmo when Gizmo's talking. We literally have this tripod up and we hit record and that's basically it. You want a Giz, you just had one, dude. Right, I'm going, I have to go, he's manipulating me. Goodbye. He'll be back. Do you want a stash heel? Or a What do they do? Do they ask for stash Huh? Where are you going? Do you want to cry? Do you want to cry? <laughs> We go on this side? Okay, we'll move him. Okay. Can we... There we go. Oh, my back is but My back. Oh, did you hear that click? That might have been a good thing, to be honest. You want a stash <laughs> No, I think I need medication. My back just clicked, Giz. It clicked. I know goodness. Oh! Goodness! Oh, you put me down. Do you want a stachio? Giz? Stachio, get the stachio off the brain. Okay, let me, let's do this. Okay, you ready? Let's sing, sing a song. 
Sorry. I'm trying to <laughs> sing. I'm trying to sing. Doors <laughs> Oh my gosh. You two. Come on. I'm trying. Okay. Come on. All right, all right. Let's go again. No trademark. Sing. Sing a song. Sing it loud. <laughs> oh, Officer Gibby. Okay, are we on the move again? No, no, no stachios. You have more water? Okay, right. <laughs> Giz, I think your eggs are finished. I think you've finished your eggs. You want stachios? No, we're not having no more stachios. Gosh, these boy birds right now. Oh, are oh, you being cute? Goodbye, guys. I'll see you in a minute. What do they do if they don't walk? They beep? Sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry? Are you... Woo! No snacks. Oh my. You're on the move again. You just told me birds don't walk, Giz. What are you... I'm coming. Oh my gosh. I, oh, try what? Let's have a blue, blue cam for a second. Oh, really? You were just distracted. Um, I'm running around after you two. Oh, okay. You two's good? Give me a break. Can I have a drink? Up, up. Are we good? Okay. Bye. Uh, no, cute voice. Cute voice. Birds don't walk. What do birds? You got to tell me what birds do, though, Gizbop. Because all the, all all you're saying right now is birds don't walk while you're walking. Can I interview you? Can I? Yeah. What do birds do? What are you doing now? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> they are fighting for the attention and, oh my gosh. Other people can go live and just put the camera on their birds and the birds just do the stuff. These, these, these two have me running around. Up, up. I have to have two different voices with them as well. My extremely high pitched one. <gasps> what are you gonna say, Giz? Let's sing Bad Bird, okay? I wish I could play music, because music is a real big... <laughs> Music's a real trigger to him. Giz, where you go? Come on. I don't know what you want to come on. Like, Where are you going now? What are our options? What are you doing? Huh? Are you going to play with your new toy? No, we're going back up. Oh. What you doing?
Blue doesn't talk as much all the time as as he is tonight. He doesn't make him depressed. Giz Giz will will let him know if he's annoyed. He's not scared. Keep the making me move around. They talk each time. He just said, are you okay? He loves that toy K. That's his absolutely, like, that's literally his girlfriend. And it gets, isn't it? I know it's his girlfriend. It's a little bit silly, but we support Bloop, okay? We support him. He can love who he wants to love. Okay? I've been telling him, are you okay for a probably like a week and a half? So it's probably now stuck, which is it's a cute thing. Are you okay? Are you okay? Is Gizbop okay? I think so. You're adorable. Oh. Two. Hi, Bruce. Everybody. <laughs> everybody in the chat, Cuba is one of Gizmo's very, very good friends, and you should all follow him. Cuba, hey. One. Two. Can we say three? Can you say three? His four sounds a bit like four. Um, it rhymes with four, but it starts with a W. And sometimes he just says it and it's like, okay, but he's trying to say four, I think. Maybe not. Hi. <laughs> Oh greatness, oh one. Can you say you love me now? We love you, Bruce and Cuba. And um, I'm not even sure if we're gonna be on TT anymore because they just suck. They took all our videos down and we're upset. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just said that as I said that. Um, no, and what they've done is they we, we appealed all the videos they took down of Gizmos, and they put, I think they put three up out of like 40. I lost count at 40. And then now they're taking all my other ones down. We don't know. It just says that we've, um, we've, we, we, we didn't follow community guidelines. And like, they're even taking the ones that is just me talking about gizmo and his vet appointment that one went back up but then the one that is just literally just me they've taken that down as well so i'm just like ah oh, sodja he's not upset this is giz just chilling he's got one leg up so he's content and he's happy and you giz and i'm stood right in front of him so he's he's very content when i'm here Aren't you, boy? Yeah, so we don't, yeah, I'm, I'm over it now. They're just greedy, money-hungry people. Aren't they, yes? Are they? Let's sing a song. Why? One song. You ready? Birds. Can we do birds? 
birds. <gasps> okay, no song to yes. Just farts. Can I do one? Was that good? Was that good? Don't judge me. Oh, they're both quiet now. Woohoo! I can talk. Should I come talk? Now you're both quiet. One day I'm going to have to do a 9.30 live. Those cheeks, look at them. They're absolutely adorable. Oh, he's coming up to give you a closer look at them. It's like, look at those cheeks. Look at them. It's, honestly, it's ridiculous, Tiny Treasures. It's ridiculous. Like, we've not, we <laughs> don't do the, the humpy quack sound. Um, we just, we, we just post videos of gizmo. That's literally it. There's nothing breaking any community guidelines. At all. Thank you, Lilt. Lil, Lil Tink. Um. Oh, no, he was, he was walking up closer to me. Like, if I put my hand here, see, that's what he's doing. You want love, don't you? Um, those, if, if you've just come in, he, he was um, giving mama lots of love. Hi. What are you, Giz? You're a lover boy. What do birds do, Gizbop? Huh? Because no, no one in this chat seen you walk or climb. I know, I know Notre Dame. It's stupid. Where are you going? What are you doing down there? Huh? Come on, come say hi. Good night, Eileen. I guess it's on strike right now. Um, right, let me read some comments. No, thank you. Um, it is. It is upsetting because, like, once it's like that, like, and that they're, they're not only like removing all his new stuff now; they're now going and removing all of his older stuff, and some of that stuff I don't even have, and you can't save it. You can't like, um, you can't save the link and then like remove the watermark and everything after they've done that. So, no, it's not all of our content. It looks like we still have a lot up because I'll, I'll do another video of how many, like how many we've got, got, there's so many. I haven't checked since I've been on here, but they only put three, three or four back up out of 40 something. But um, this evening, before we went live, they, they took down more. Even just, like, videos of me. Wine, sir. <laughs> Wine, sir. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, do different breeds generally get along? It depends. Some breeds, some different breeds can get on so well with each other and then there's just some that don't and even two of the same breed won't get on it all depends on individual cases it's like people it's like people thank you flegal um he might say wine because of me 
just putting it out there. I'm an honest person. Um, but yeah. Is Kiki gone? Wine, sir. Yeah, I've never said wine, sir, to be honest. I do talk, but Gizmo makes his own words up. Like, here, 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 something, and then he just changes it. <laughs> he did say wine, sir. Oh my gosh, he's my, he's like my spirit animal completely. <laughs> we, um, Dig Dog, we don't actually, in 1979, I was born that year. Um, we we actually don't watch TV much, crazily enough. I'm not a TV girl. Uh, so a lot of people think he gets some of his craziness from the TV. I don't know whether it's from his past. I don't know what they had. Gizmo was stuck in a room on his own. So I don't know. It is Saturday night. It is. It's time. In fact, Giz, can I get some wine, Mr. Headless Chicken? Can I have some wine? Oh, can I? <laughs> Is that okay? Are you going to groom? He would be polite. He's a very polite bird, apart from when he tells his whore to squawk off. But it takes a lot for Gizmo to be angry. and Or, or here, just do it for fun. Mums don't drink wine. Um, they do. Um, I'm, I'm a white, I like white wine unless it's like, um, sangria. Then I like the red sangria. We're not rushing him to talk at all. Gizmo would just be doing this anyway. We're just, we're just keeping people updated. We, we, even when Gizmo didn't have an accident, we never make Gizmo talk. Gizmo does what he wants. If he wants to groom, he grooms. You love sparkling wine. I do, I do, I'm not. I'm not like um, a sweet wine drinker. I I like it kind of. I like um, a Pinot Grigio type of girl. <laughs> you don't trust. Hang on. I'm not getting that. How am I going to teach him to fly? Oh, I don't know. Um, we're, thank you, W2.0. <laughs> hamburger rain, oh, yes, hamburger rain. Um, we're, we're, we're talking to a trainer. That, that's what we're doing. All the, all the winos in the chat, I love you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. You should have heard him earlier. He hasn't shut up. I'm biased about what wines I like. I, oh, you make wine. Ryan, we should be friends. <laughs> it would be good if he learned. Um, I don't think he's ever going to be a great flyer. But um, I would like him to at least glide with a bit of style um, where he wouldn't hurt himself. I just need him to, to, to learn how to land. Gizzy the Grey. Giz. You're just grooming now. A lot of people ask what spook Gizmo. We don't know. A lot of things can spook these African Greys. They get very... Um, they get very scared of everything, including their own shadow. And um, he, I think one of the birds did something like squawked and it made him jump and then he just flew. I don't know. I can't, I, I can't honestly give a straight answer with that. He, it just happened so fast. I heard one of the birds squawking and flying and then Gizmo gone. Wine is everywhere. Wine is life. I think Gizmo actually said that once. Wine is life. 
<laughs> who's been scoop spooked by his own floofs. Yes, they're crazy, these birds. A gizmo wine. That would be awesome. My mum beats me Pinot Grigio. I could start my own line. I'd have to test them all for a very long time first. Um, it's a place in BC, I think. I'm not that great at geography, but I think it's in BC. Oh, I can never say it as well. Okanagan? Okanagan? I think that's how you say it. And they make wine. That would be, yeah, that would be so good. You help me taste it? Yeah, I just have to move you over to Canada just to be my, you know, full-time wine tester. Can you imagine? <laughs> Um, so I, I can't pronounce your name, oh, I'm going to try, Makai's, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, okay, I haven't seen your messages, um, we, we have so many messages to get through, so I haven't seen that one, um, the, the vet doesn't want to him have a full x-ray because with an x-ray she's she's felt every part of his wings his legs um with an x-ray he would have to be sedated and um that comes with a lot of risks he can, he can die from sedation so unless it's completely necessary i don't want to put that risk on him Where's Kate going to bed? Good night, Kate. We love you. Hi, Bluebee. You come back awake? So, uh, Caitlin in the chat, who was our moderator, she is a hero. She's our nurse, Kate. She saves lives every day. And she keeps me smiling. And she's amazing. And I, we thank you. We thank you for all you do in your professional world and at our friendship world. All right, Bloob, sorry, I was having a moment. What brought me to adopt Bloob? Um, Kyle. He loves Indian ring necks, but we said, we said we're not just going to buy an Indian ring neck baby, even though they're adorable and you can bring them up and have the best bond. We're not, we're, we're into rescue him so we 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 researched and we looked for the best rescue story we could find at the time and bloob was that he was stuck in a cage like gizmo was he was just told to make babies make babies and then he lost his lifelong partner and um because she was egg egg bound and um she died I know Giz, I mean Bloob, aw. And she died and he was heartbroken and that is how we get we got him. Long story short, basically he just needed a better life. How did we meet? We, we met Gizmo through um, a parrot rescue place in Alberta. Humans, some humans suck. He, yeah, he's come a long way. He, because he was in a cage, he was petrified of hands. I'm, I'm sure they used to grab him a lot. Um, he was petrified of hands. He would not come anywhere near us, but now Bloob is coming on to us all the time. He still won't allow us to love him, but we do it on their terms. So every, everything is done on our bird's terms with Gizmo. Every single first step he instigated, I did not, like step up, no, try and make him do that. He, I, I just went with him. Kyle, why are you talking about <laughs> 12 inches? Let me show you one.
Bluebee, is this one of yours? So that's one of the tail feathers. They're huge. Can't even get it all in. Is that you, cute boy? Yep, I agree with you. Humans... Like, and sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, because I, you know, I'm only human too. And we do judge people. And I, and I stop myself and I just think, uh, but I'm not one of these people that would look at a 15 second video like we get and then feel like I can get my, um, and say awful things. I will, I'm a researcher and I will research everything because one video does not say a story. But yeah, we we all need to be better people, but we're human and we, we do we do all mess up sometimes. And I've judged people and I shouldn't, but we live and we learn. Bird is upstairs with Kyle. <laughs> Otherwise should be chasing this blue boy around. Thank you, Fleagle. You have a great evening. Yeah, there's some awful. I've been watching, um, I don't know, I think I'm in like um, rescue al algorithm at the minute on um, on social media and I've been seeing some horrendous stories of, but they, they, they turn out beautiful because the rescue story is amazing afterwards. But um, I know Bluebee. We have three birds and we're not having any more. We will, um, we will rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome. That is my three R's that I will do in the future. So if I, if I see a good, like if I, if I need to help another bird, I will, and I will keep it until we can find the best possible home. But these three birds need my time. As you can see tonight, I, they've been fighting for attention and I only have three. I've met people with like 60 birds ridiculous no one can give 60 birds attention ear bites are not fun like bird is very very bonded to kyle but she is biting him like crazy at the minute because she's so hormonal Right, hang on one second. I'm sorry, I walked away. Okay. Up. Are you done? Kyle, I don't know if you want to come down um, and say goodbye to people. Because <laughs> I might... I Hang on, let me put it on gears. Yes. Hi. I know you just eat... Bluebeer's loving me being quite close to him. Yeah, we gotta feed the children. <laughs> We're letting our baby baby humans down right now. <laughs> I was sitting up there like Ooh, a little rumbly in your tumbly. Mm -hmm. Birds don't walk. Okay. I've got a pair of baby blue and green. So cute. Oh bird, can you come here? So I can show you all. Oh, your local rescue? Oh me, baby girl. My baby. I I we was gonna get a McCall and um but then we went with... Um... Oh, can I just show Birdie quick? Since she's been upstairs. Oh. Oh, wow. See, this is why we separate him sometimes. There she is. Hi, bird. Bird. 
Can come you say on, hi come, to come, come be cute. Can you say hi to everybody? Bird. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Did you hear Gizmo does the humpy duck now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get over it. This is Bird. That is her favorite toy right there. This little thing with these things is her favorite toy. She likes to pull them. Uh oh. Oh, sugar. She likes to pull these things down. They're like um, elevators. Yeah. That's her favorite toy for sure. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Oh, she just wants to chase Bluebee around. <laughs> oh, Gizzy, look at you. You're handsome as heck. Oof. Okay. Anyway, sorry guys. When I have when I'm showing Bird off, I can't read the the chat because it's so high in the air. But. Anyways, we are definitely going to get, we got to get, um, get going at 7.30 here and we have not even eaten or started dinner yet. Yeah, we haven't. And our kids are probably, like, I know my, I'm so hungry. snacked. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All they had today was an apple. <laughs> apple? Apple. Yep. But, um, thank you every single person for, um, coming in and checking on Gizmo. Mm-hmm. We appreciate all your support since this happened and, and prior to it and your continued support. So um, we, we, we'll be back. Um, yes. We're going to try and do more. Um, and uh, uh, we, we need to do, um, do a live when it's his prime time. Oh, yeah. We should have done that today, really. Which is later. Maybe we can come back later because yeah. nine thirty is is like crazy. I want to talk deep time. Yeah, if he goes crazy talking, we might just throw it up for a quick for a quick live because um, no promises or anything. But when he when he's on his roll, it's crazy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's where we get the best content <laughs> from him. Is right at night time. Yes, my baby is. But again, thank you for joining us, and um, we hope Mum beats me comes back, Thomas. <laughs> I'm sure it will. He said it once mm -hmm. since since the accident, but um, that that's been it. And uh, but birds don't walk his back on repeat. And um, I'm grateful for every single moment that he's just here. So yeah, you guys take care and thank you for anyone that sent us gifts. But more importantly, thank you everyone for just being here. Yes, and and you know just sharing your time with us. We Definitely. appreciate you. And we shall see you soon. Bye, Bruce. Bye, Seek. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. See ya.